Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are taking you guys on an epic food tour of Sunamachi Ginza located right here in Tokyo. This place is famous for their cheap and delicious food. I hope you guys are hungry. Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare, an online learning community with literally thousands of classes for everyone. You can learn new skills, develop existing ones, or just get lost in creativity. I've taken quite a few classes on Skillshare. This time, I decided to learn how to up my game on Instagram by taking a course called iPhone Food Photography by Adam Goldberg. He has a no-nonsense, straightforward approach which I really liked. His classes were easy to understand and I picked up a lot of tricks and tips on what to do to make my photos more interesting. It was just the thing I was looking for and that's what I like about Skillshare. You're bound to find something that catches your interest. There are thousands of classes to explore and there is something for everyone. Discover Skillshare for yourself. The first 1,000 of our subscribers to click the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare to start exploring your own creativity. Sunamachi Ginza is a unique traditional shopping street also known as the Shotengai, but this one is unique. Shotengais typically develop around streets that lead from train stations, but Sunamachi Ginza's nearest stations, Nishi Ojima and Minami Sunamachi are a 20 minute walk away. In 1930, a collection of 30 or so stores made up the street. Destroyed by World War II bombings in 1945, what you see today was established in 1963. As transport companies and small factories moved in, the area's population increased. The number of shops selling food and clothing increased to meet the needs of the people. Most of the local industries have either died away or have relocated. However, this traditional shotengai with cheap and delicious food remains for the local residents. So here, Sunamachi Shotengai, right, there are the two entrances, east entrance and west entrance. We are at east entrance. And as soon as we enter from the east entrance, we found very nice yakitori shop. It is called the Takezawa Shoten. This one is negitori, green onion or leeks and chicken meat. This salt enhances the chicken flavor, chicken umami flavor so nicely. It's juicy chicken, it's tender, a little bit chagrilu flavor, so good. I got one of my favorites, which is sukune or chicken meatball. I also got the salted one. By the way, you can also choose the tare or the yakitori sauce. Um, both are delicious, but we personally prefer the salt one. Itadakimasu. The yakitori here is spectacular. Like seriously, we would come here just to eat this. It's that delicious. The chicken tastes so fresh, so flavorful. The prices are super reasonable and I don't know, they must use some kind of magic in the salt because the salt is a little bit sweet. It adds really nice flavor. Very, very delicious. Oh my God. Mm. I feel like we have to come back here again because this is so good. We found taiyaki shop called Taiyan and we found very interesting one. This one is ice taiyaki. It's cold one. It's frozen. It's solid. Frozen. <laughs> and the, there are three flavors and we bought anko one and coffee cream one. <laughs> I love coffee. I'm very, very, very looking forward to try this one. Mm. Coffee flavored ice cream, but a little bit like sorbet. This white one, so white part, is white cream, but tastes like ice cream, vanilla ice cream. Hot taiyaki, it's good, but too hot. So, ice one is also very nice. I got the Anko Whip, which is Anko sweet and azuki bean paste with whipped cream. This is, once again, the cold one. Itadakimasu. Mmm, 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 yum, mmm, the brown part, 
is the azuki bean paste because it's frozen it's like eating azuki ice cream it is so delicious the whipped cream adds like a really nice creaminess so it really tastes like azuki ice cream today is actually very humid and hot so this is perfect this cold taiyaki which is very unique but i am curious to come back to try one of the hot ones the one i have my eye on is the salted uncle taiyaki that sounds so delicious but for now this satisfies my taiyaki cravings so next place we are here at this place called Sunamachi kebab I love kebab so glad I found this place and we found something really really interesting we found this thing called the kebab dog which is like kebab and hot dog buns kebab dog yeah Okay, the owner just told me, the owner just told me this is the only place in the entire country that has this kebab dog. And you know, it's so reasonable. It's only 200 yen, guys. I can't believe it. Check it out. Check it out. The owner uh, cut it in half for us so we don't fight over it. But there's um, uh, pieces of uh, meat inside. I believe this is maybe uh, kebab chicken. And there's some shredded cabbage and there's the kebab sauce on top. This looks so good. I have had like a massive craving for a kebab for like the longest time. Mmm. Mmm. Good. Delicious. Mmm. Has so much flavor. The chicken meat is tender, perfectly cooked. Mmm. That sauce has a little bit kick to it. Creamy. Lots of flavor. Look at that. A lot of chicken meat on the top. I really been craving kebab and this really hits the spot. Mmm. 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 Chicken kebab is so good. And um, with this sauce dressing, it matches perfect. Shredded cabbage has a good accent, texture accent. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. I love this way. I do want to point out how friendly everyone here is including the owner of this kebab shop his name is Bobby and uh, they do specialize in a Bangladesh curry which I'm really curious to try on my next visit but anyway you guys got to try that kebab dog very very delicious we found Japanese deli Okazu shop it's ready-made food shop called Midori no Okazu and we found an interesting one. Potato mochi. This is, looks like dango, but it's flat, round shape. Hmm. 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 It's fluffy. Can you believe it? Fluffy. From the word potato and mochi, can you imagine it is fluffy? The texture is interesting. The flavor is good. Little bit potato y, little bit mochi y. At first glance, I thought it was grilled, but it's actually deep fried. So it has that nice um, deep fried flavor, which I love. Uh, also has a little bit of like salty taste. I think it's from soy sauce because it's been basted with soy sauce, maybe. We can definitely still taste the potatoes, you can still taste the rice. I love this. It's delicious. Before we came here, I checked on the internet and I googled a little bit about this particular place called Sakai. They've been making two things only, siumai and gyoza. And this is the typical Japanese style shumai. This is what it looks like. I believe this is pork. I'm going to eat it with a little bit of mustard. Here we go. Itadakimasu. Mm. So soft. So soft. Immediately I taste the pork and the onions. That fusion of pork and onion is so beautiful. So soft. So much flavor. And I actually don't think I, I, I need anything. I'm going to eat one without the mustard. Mm. This is good shumai guys. 
Mmm. It kind of reminds me of the shumai that my mother used to make me when I was a kid. So it's the old fashioned type, but that doesn't mean it's a bad thing. It's actually a good thing that it's an old fashioned type because it's actually kind of difficult to find these um, old fashioned uh, type of shumai. So much flavor. Oh my gosh. So good. Mmm. Yes. Like she said, it's soft. It's steamed in front of the shop. So it's it's very fresh. And soft, juicy, pokey, really good shumai. The combination of mustard and this pork flavor is my favorite. Mmm. Mmm. Wow, it's so delicious. <laughs> so the flavor, yes, it's a little bit nostalgic flavor, but in it's in good way. The authentic shumai flavor. Mmm. Okay, we're stopping for a little bit of Chinese food. We're here at this place called Shanghai Nikuman. Nikuman means pork bun in Japanese, basically a bao, and these are very popular here in Japan. This is one of their signature buns. This is a Shanghai Nikuman. Okay, let's break this apart and see what it looks like on the inside. Wow, look at all that meat on the inside. That's pork, and I think there are some veggies in there. And the bun is really fluffy and it smells amazing. Mmm. Mmm. It's so good. The combination of onions and pork. Just like the shumai that we had. I love that combo pork and onions. I taste a little bit of ginger, and the bun is fluffy, not dry at all. Piping hot. Delicious. So mine is Ebi Chiriman Shrimp in Chili Sauce. Oh, 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 shrimp, shrimp, shrimp. Mmm, mmm, mmm. The shrimp is plumpy, good flavor, and it has kick. The this sauce, chili sauce, has kick. In Japan, ebi chili is very popular, but in many cases, it's not spicy. But this one has a good kick. It's not super soft, but it's fluffy. Nice bite. Mm. Mm. Good one. Whenever our friends visit Tokyo, we always recommend visiting at least one of these traditional Japanese shoten guys. You get a taste of what the local life is like and um, we want everyone, we want everyone to experience the hospitality and the friendliness of these small neighborhoods in Tokyo. This is a place that is a must visit on any of our trips here. I think I've said this on almost every store that we've been to. The people are so nice. Every time we come here, they treat us so nicely. They have freshly fried tempura here on sale all day long. They also sell rice balls. They have like chirashi sushi, all my favorites. So we bought four different tempura today. And as you can see, the nice lady uh, divided everything into half for us. This is the kakiyagi tempura. This is maitake mushroom, that's the pumpkin. And this is shungiku, which is a type of green vegetable. All right, itadakimasu. Mmm. Shungiku has such a distinct flavor, which I love. You usually find this in sukiyaki, but I love it made in tempura. And if you ask them, they'll put like some of the tempura sauce on top, and you can enjoy it right here at the store. And then another one of my favorite, remember now, this is only half. So it's a pretty big piece of tempura. This is pumpkin, kabocha pumpkin guys. Mm. The kabocha pumpkin is naturally sweet. Mm. Cooked perfectly. It's soft but not mushy which is very important and it's crispy on the outside and the sauce just complements the pumpkin. So delicious. So this one 
is Maitake Mushrooms. I love mushrooms and especially Maitake is one of my favorite mushroom. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Maitake has a really good umami. Did you hear the sound? Sakutto. Sakutto. This shop is very easy to find. It is located very close to the west end of this Shotengai. Finally, dessert time. We found miso shop. Yes, we found miso ice cream. Ta -da! This is that. It's Mikurin, named Mikurin, and from Sano Miso. This one is Miso, not only regular Miso, it's Miso Caramel. Yes, it's Miso, and yes, it's Caramel. Oh, interesting. Very interesting combination. Little bit salty because of the miso. <laughs> it tastes just like caramel. Like if you didn't tell me that it was miso, I would never know it's miso. I can't believe it tastes like caramel. And I love the texture that the little bits of rice cracker gives. I think it's like milk ice cream. Mmm, that is really good. It even replicates the slight bitterness of caramel. Oh, this is very sophisticated. I thought this was going to be gimmicky, not at all. Mmm, mmm, I think we should get another one. We really, really enjoyed the street food. We really, really did it. You know, I'm so glad we came here. You know, three years ago, was it two years ago, we came here once mm -hmm. to have some kakigori shave ice. Oh, by the way, if you didn't see that video, make sure you check it out by clicking right up there because that place was amazing. One of the best shaved ice we've had in our lives. But you know what stood out for me? Not only the food, but everyone we met was so hospitable yes. and nice. Yes, I really, really impressed their hospitality. Mm -hmm. Yeah, makes you want to come back again. And that's why on your next visit to Tokyo, I encourage all of you guys to visit this uh, Sunamachi Ginza. Um, in addition to Minowa Shotengai that we went to before, if you didn't see that video, that's another great place we recommend. But um, anyway, let's get to the food. So my standouts were the yakitori, the ice cream with the miso caramel, miso caramel OMG, ice cream. and shumai and tempura. Many. How about you? <laughs> Many. I chose four. <laughs> All of them are good, but I chose mm -hmm. four. Shumai, taiyaki, taiyaki. Oh yes, yes, yes. The coffee one, especially. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And tempura. You know the best thing to do, I think, is for all of you guys to come here and try everything for yourselves. Well, thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, don't forget to leave your thoughts in the comments down below. And don't forget to check out Skillshare. Click on the link in the description to get your free month of Skillshare. Thank you for watching. See you on next delicious video. Bye bye. Bye guys. <laughs>